Hot composting? Cold composting? What's the difference? Hi, my name is Susan, a Sacramento County Master Gardener, and I want to share some information with you from the UC Master Gardeners on the styles of composting. This video will explain each method and you can decide which one is best for you. A compost pile is an ideal environment for bacteria and fungi to break down our organic matter. This process occurs naturally in nature with browns, greens, water, and air. And by controlling the conditions in our pile, we can speed up the process and decide how fast we want to compost. Hot composting or rapid composting takes about four to six weeks to decompose. You will need a bin that is at least three feet by three feet by three feet and a location that has a faucet and hose close by. Filling the bin will require gathering equal amounts of carbon sources, browns, such as fallen leaves, twigs, and newspaper. You will also need nitrogen sources, greens, such as living plant material, to total at least 27 cubic feet. You will need a little extra to allow for shrinkage. That's a lot of material to chop into one to two inch pieces. A hot compost pile is built all at once, layering your browns and greens, mixing each layer together, watering until thoroughly saturated. Continue this process until the bin is completely full and the contents as wet as a wrung out sponge. A compost thermometer is helpful because you can monitor the temperature of the core of the pile each day. When it reaches between 140 degrees and 150 degrees, you must turn it so that the pile doesn't get too hot, killing the microorganisms. The process of turning, watering, and temperature monitoring will take two to three weeks until the pile no longer heats up. Let your pile cure for a week or two before adding it to your garden. When the pile looks like dark, rich soil, it is ready. You may want to sift out any materials that did not get composted. This is easily done by using a piece of half inch hardware cloth over a wheelbarrow or a compost sifter. If you do not have enough material to fill the entire bin all at once, you can try the cold method, which takes four to six months to decompose. Again, you will need a bin and a faucet with a hose nearby. Add your chopped browns and greens as they become available, watering and turning as you add each layer. A cold bin can be turned weekly or monthly, depending on your schedule or when you remember. Each time you turn your pile, be sure to add enough water to keep the mixture moist. This process takes several months. Remember, the more you turn your pile, the sooner you will get compost. Your compost is finished when it looks like dark soil and has an earthy smell. It's now ready to be sifted. The third method of composting is the dump and run method. This method takes the least amount of work, but your compost pile will take 12 to 18 months to decompose. You will need a bin if you want to keep your pile enclosed. However, you can create a simple structure out of twigs or corn stalks for the natural look. This method involves no turning or chopping, but a faucet nearby helps the composting process by keeping the pile moist. Compost benefits our soil, and your plants will grow stronger as a result of your efforts. Check out our basic compost video for more information. Just remember, hot or cold, fast or slow, compost happens. Thank you for watching this video and happy composting.